Scott Groves here with another mortgage mystery. We actually got this question from somebody on YouTube who said, hey, can I buy another owner-occupied house? Well, without more context or without knowing who Plankmaster317 is, I don't really know how to answer that question, but I can give you some guiding thoughts and guiding principles. I presume the question meant, hey, I already bought one house and I bought it owner occupied, meaning I plan to occupy the unit and I'm currently living there. And maybe it's six months or 12 months or five years later, and now I found another house that I wanna owner occupied. I wanna upgrade or I wanna make a lateral move. Can I buy another owner occupied house? Well, the simple answer is yes, in most cases you can. The more challenging answer is it depends. It depends what kind of loan you got on the house you're living in. It depends how long you've lived in that house. And it depends on what are you gonna do with this house, right? So let's go back first to what kind of loan did you get on this house? If you got a VA loan, you're a veteran, you took advantage of your veterans benefits and you got a VA loan on the house you're currently living on. Generally speaking, you cannot get a second VA loan to buy a second owner occupied house with a VA loan until you either refinance or sell the current house that you have a VA loan on. There's some limited exceptions there. There's some math that might work out on your favor if you're in a low cost area, but generally speaking, let's just assume that with a VA loan, you can't have two owner occupied houses at the same time. Now that doesn't mean a lender like me can't help you refinance house A so that you can then use your VA benefits to buy house B. Okay, so that's the loan structure. Generally speaking, other than a VA loan, you're not gonna have many problems with going from one owner-occupied house to another owner-occupied house. Question number two is going to be how long have you lived there? So when you buy an owner-occupied house, depending on the documentation that you sign and depending on what lender you get the loan with, you're going to attest to the lender that hey, you're getting owner-occupied rates on this mortgage, you're getting owner-occupied loan structures on this mortgage, so we expect you to owner-occupy and live in the house for at least six to 12 months. So if you're buying a second owner-occupied house within six to 12 months, there better be some type of good thesis, like, oh, I bought this house, immediately got engaged, and now my spouse and I, or my fiance and I, are gonna buy this bigger house. Or I bought this house, it ended up being too small. I'm buying a much bigger house in a better school district with uh, a guest room for my mother to stay in and it's a huge upgrade. So I need to buy another owner occupied house. So there has to be some type of thesis if you're buying within a short period of time two owner occupied houses. And then the last question and kind of this last guiding thought that we have to go through is what are you doing with the house you currently live in? Are you selling it? and upgrading to another owner-occupied house? Are you keeping the house and then turning it into a rental so you can buy a new owner-occupied house? You see, the only thing that the lender wants to do is to make sure that there's not occupancy fraud, which means you're buying houses with the interest rate terms and conditions of an owner-occupied loan, which is priced cheaper and is more forgiving in its underwriting criteria. They don't want, they wanna make sure that you're not doing this bait and switch where you're buying a house that you know is going to be an investment property or a rental property with a loan that is reserved for people that are doing owner-occupieds. So I see this frequently where somebody will live in a really nice 2,500 square foot single family residence and it's clearly owner occupied, they live there. And then they call me and they say, hey, Scott, I wanna take advantage of that 5% down FHA loan to buy this three unit house. And I said, well, unfortunately, FHA is only for owner occupied buyers. And if you're buying a multi-unit house, there's very few loan products with low money down for an investment property. And they say, no, 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 I'm gonna go live in this three unit property. But the reality is most underwriters aren't gonna buy the story that you and your family are downgrading from, in this example, a $2,500 single family residence to go live in a thousand square foot, three unit property with a bunch of tenants, right? That doesn't really pass the smell test. So very long answer to the simple question, can I have two owner occupied houses? Generally speaking, the answer is yes, but remember, based on loan product, based on the type of property, based on what you're going to do with the property you're leaving, and the time period since you bought it, there's gonna be some more caveats in there. I highly recommend, if you're thinking about buying an owner-occupied house or a second home or a rental property, or you're trying to figure out how that all works, just get on our calendar. 
give me a call, shoot me an email, use the Calendly link below to schedule some time. We'll walk you through the whole process. We'll let you know what you can and cannot do, how the whole thing works. And the Scott Groves team, our entire team, would love to help you with your next mortgage. If you enjoyed this video, you got some information or value out of it, click the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. We try to drop at least three of these a week and we're committed in 2022 to doing it for the entire year. So we'd love to see you here on YouTube interacting with us. Thanks so much.